Do you guys know of Webtoon? It's this app on your phone where it's like all these comic strips made by people. And they're really high quality. Webtoon actually pays the people to make these comic strips. My favorite category is Slice of Life. And my favorite one in that category is uh, My Giant Nerd Boyfriend. It's these really funny panels about a relationship between a girl and her boyfriend. And it's true, and that's what makes it so funny and relatable. I, I enjoy it, I find it really good. My other favorite one is Lunar Baboon. He's a middle-aged guy, and his comics are usually really depressing. This is one of my favorite ones. He doesn't have any inspiration, so he looks inside of himself and says, okay, I have this pain, what am I gonna do with it? I'm gonna use it and make a work of art out of it. And then people are like, oh my gosh, this is the best thing you've ever done. Praising him for the exact same thing that tears him apart. All these people that take the pain that hurts them and they give it to a wider audience that can then relate with it. Yet at the same time, that same power that they use to relate with it doesn't stop the pain from happening. The pain's still very real. It's a very hopeless feeling all the time. And that's kind of the point of this video, hopelessness. How the heck are you supposed to make people feel better, less hopeless, make it through life, how are you supposed to give that feeling when you don't feel that feeling yourself? I've uh, seen this thing on Instagram. Life is you go to school so that you can get into a better school, so that you can get a job, so you can pay off all that debt you accumulated, going to school so that you can have kids, which are also really expensive, so you get even more debt, and then finally, right before you die, hopefully you pay off all your debt. Like, wow, that is a really ideal life. And no, it is definitely not an ideal life, it sucks. And I've always wanted to avoid that, really bad. I don't do well with school. D plus, oh my god, I passed. College has never been the path for me. But that doesn't mean I don't have to work. So tomorrow morning, I have to get up at five, show up at work by six, I'm gonna be there from six to two. It's a great job. I love my boss. I love my coworkers. But I don't really wanna go. It's not something that I enjoy. I don't have a passion for it. But I have to because I need to earn money because you need money to do stuff. But what if I don't wanna do stuff anymore? Is it worth it? Because it doesn't feel like it's worth it sometimes. It just all circles around to what's the point. No matter how great I try to make my own life, somebody out there is struggling. Two people I know have been in the hospital for cutting. Four people I'm kind of aware of in my friend group-ish have been cutting. It just sucks. I don't like that. I can't do anything about it. I know I made the numb video and I'm really proud of that video. And at the end, I said, if you see no happiness in anything, if I may be so bold, try to make others happy instead. Look at their joy and realize that you caused that in them. Just because you can't feel doesn't mean that you don't invoke feelings in others and you have control over that. And I stand by that. But at the same time, in moments like right now, I don't feel it. That doesn't mean I'm not gonna try, because I am gonna try. I remember texting this one girl because a friend of mine was having a hard time. And I said, hey, can you help her? And that person texted me back and said, I can't help you because I don't know how to do it either. And that really sucked because I try to help people, right? I want to help people. And I know I'm gonna mess up so many times in the process of helping people. But when I'm trying to help somebody and the person I asked to help that person because I think it would have the greatest impact needs help themselves, it's just like, there is so much wrong in this world how the heck am I supposed to make an impact? How am I supposed to help anybody? Two steps forward, one step back, or one step forward, three steps back. I don't know, how, whatever it is, that's how I feel like life is all the time. It's just, I can try, I can try, I can try. But the more I make progress in stuff, the more I'm gonna be aware of all the messed up stuff, which is gonna make me personally be downgraded. I keep a very small friend group because if I had a large friend group and I knew all the issues all these people dealt with, I would feel for them and I would want to do things. And I don't wanna do that. So I have a very small friend group. I keep my people very close to me. I wanna help people. Sometimes, though, I can't. And nothing I do is right. And I'm anxious and I'm stressed and I don't wanna to go to work. And I don't even get what the point. 
it just doesn't feel worth it sometimes. And that's how I was feeling when I sat down on this to make this video. Right before I started, my girlfriend texted me and said, hey, do you wanna make a chicken piccata tomorrow after work? And I was like, sure, let's do it. I might not feel like life is worth living right now, but she wants to spend time with me tomorrow. And I wanna spend time with her tomorrow. I'm still kind of recovering from feeling hopeless, but I'm gonna cook that chicken piccata so freaking well tomorrow. It's gonna be a delicious chicken piccata. I can't cook to save my life. It's gonna be one freaking tasty chicken piccata. <laughs> I don't really have a way to end this, but I'm very grateful my girlfriend texted me because I was feeling pretty hopeless. And I think this is gonna be a pretty good video now because she just made me a bit more hopeful. Stay alive for those hopeful moments because they will come. Thank you for watching my video. Have a good one, folks.